nothing brings nothing brings me more happiness than seeing a thriving society completely destroyed by a swarm of just average sized crabs. Nothing brings me more happiness than seeing a society built up over the course of thousands of years, surviving through the dozens of horrible tragedies and hardships, merely to be destroyed by what seems to be an almost endless swarm of crabs. Dude, I was supposed to be live yesterday! I was supposed to stream yesterday! Why has not one of you invented a weather machine? Why has not one of you done this for me? All it takes is one drop of snow to completely destroy the infrastructure of my state. Dude, I shit you not, my power went out at fucking like 6 a.m. I woke up and I was like, good news is it went out now. So when I wake up in like eight hours or like six hours or whatever, it'll be great. Uh, it, w it was still gone. And then uh, at 6 p.m., I watched as a car drove out in front of my house, climbed up a power line. Uh, they did something for about 15 minutes and then everything was fixed. I fucking hate these people. <laughs> I ran into bed bananas in league once and he didn't say hi back. Dude. I run into bed bananas in League of Legends all the time, and I'll tell you what I say hey, every time he says hey back. I don't think that was bad. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, uh, you can't just type in almost any creator's name for your username. If you run into someone named Tomato on almost any game, hell, it's probably not me. <laughs> so that Tomato I sent 5k in VR chat to wasn't you? Uh, no. But I mean, like, hey, if you- if you- Charge that back. I can get on VR chat and you can send me it now. And then we can just kind of like, you know, make sure it gets to the right place. We can clear it up. <laughs> we can fix this. Yeah, VR chat, there's a lot going on out there. But I do enjoy myself when I do play it with my friends. Although, I will be honest, uh, I cannot. If you tried to ask me to get on VR chat without getting absolutely fucking wasted, you. <laughs> You, you would, uh, you would not be finding me in that lobby. People walk out- Dude, it's happened every time. Bless their souls. Every time I've gone into, like, one of the big VR chat party nights with, like, the gang, someone walks up to me every time and they're like, Dude, it was great seeing you last time, man. It was a lot of fun. You're a really cool guy. And the whole time my heart is sinking and I'm starting to panic and I'm looking around the room because I don't know who that is. Not because I didn't care about them, but the fact that I was absolutely not- I'm not the same person <laughs> anymore. I'm not the same guy you knew. I experienced full ego death between then and now, and I don't know who you are. I always- yeah, it's- it's literally the classic, oh yeah, hey man. I've done- I've done the hey man a dozen times. The- the like, no investment in what I'm saying. <laughs> No reference to anything that we could have shared together at any point. Good to see you! And then I look for exits. And then once I get an exit, I can like carefully try to figure out through context clues where I know them from. I'll poke and prod a little bit to try to get details <laughs> about this person. And then maybe I'll be able to actually engage in conversation with them without them realizing that the get, like the fucking jig is up. And then I look at the name above their head and it's it's Kraken or something. And I'm like, oh no. Oh jeez, oh no. To the south will be the Lemonlands. The realm of piss. Nestled right above it will be the jungles. This will be the candy fields. Yes. The candy fields. Spooky biome. Right here. This land. Accursed. Accursed land. Clean it up a little bit more. All right. And now that's, uh, that's, that's how my people are going to live. They're going to live like this. I would describe this, some of these lands as early access material, okay? And that's gonna be really cool for whoever lives there. Is that a frozen ice cube of a bear named Hanoa? <gasps> Hanoa, wake up! They're strong and powerful, and they're gonna be just fine. I'm gonna add them to my favorites. They're one of my favorite creatures. We're gonna add people to the world. We're gonna add nasty little creatures to the world. First of all, the dwarves. Who, where would the dwarves live? 
The or the dwarves would want us. <laughs> Let's really punish the dwarves by making them live in yeah in the can in Candyland. Yes, I think everyone agrees that we should make the dwarves live in Candyland. Five dwarves. Orcs will live in Mushroom Land. That's thematic. They've already chosen violence against the purple sheep. In an instant, the dwar the orcs have chosen violence against the purple sheep of Mushroom Land. It took not but a moment for them to attack Bo and Beel and Boo and, of course, Ba. Because that is the way of Drizzard. They are just being real rascals about this. Wara, Daru, and Dara actually legally struck first. I fucking saw that, Daru. You can't fool me. Officially, the orcs are engaging in self-defense. Five elves in Lemonland, Piss Planet. Have fun, fuckers. Okay, and that leaves just humans. Put the humans in fucking basic-ass Elwyn Forest. Five humans. So we have five... Wait, five? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Um, Aumari. That's the elves. Tenogog of death. All right, orcs, relax. Oh, humans, what the fuck do you mean? Hold up. So it looks like the humans have already decided to split up. <laughs> what do you mean? You guys, the humans are throwing. They're throwing. There's not many people. Like, it's three people. They have in their possession, in their treasury, two berries, one mushroom, one herb. I mean, we're, we're going to have to let this cook for a while before, um, before really anything interesting is going to happen here. How's Haunted Land coming along? Mostly completely, completely infested still to this day by, by bees. Hang on, I'm just gonna put something here. The marker. The marker. The marker. What does it do? Ah. Uh, what a beautiful day. How are the dwarves? Okay, these are the elves. The dwarves are expanding pretty rapidly among the Candy Kingdom. Uh, but it looks like Choco the, uh, one-eyed Kingslayer Glo- Okay, I'm getting worried that maybe Choco killed most of the dwarves. Hang on, how do you get- There's not- There's not been many kings yet. What do you mean, Kingslayer? It, uh... Chad, it seems that while we were distracted, uh, Choco devoured all of the dwarves of Boyer. Uh, just ate them all in the candy realm. Well, uh, literal cocaine bear just killed everyone. It looks like there might be someone still alive. It's King Thor Eberduma, who's having just a bad time of it. Uh, I think it's freaking bullshit that you got owned that quickly by one bear. So I'm gonna do you a solid. And first of all, if anyone fucking kills you, you're gonna explode and kill everyone in a five mile radius. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do for you first. Kid, get out of the house! Get out of the house! It's God! It's... It's God! It's God! I need you to get out of the house! Come out of the house! I'm gonna give you a power-up! It's the age of hope, not the age of being a fucking idiot, Chuck! He's coming! <laughs> Chuck the bear's gonna get you out of there! Four! Chuckles devoured eight people just today! He's hungry! Kid, you need to wake up! I have an idea. I bless this house to- oh, it knocked the kid out. Oh! <gasps> he lived. Well, with this, at least the house will live. At least Hamo, the living house, will live on. I'm gonna- we're gonna make another dwarf infection because I think it's kind of bullshit they got devoured that quickly. And I'm God, I make the rules. So I'm gonna make a bunch of dwarves we're gonna put them all here. How are the elves? God, I fucking hate these little shits. They just sound so stupid. Disgusting creatures. The elves are already, like, building boats. That pisses me off. I'm gonna set them back a little bit by making them fear the water. Lucky. <laughs> this guy fucking thinks he gets to decide that! Hey, guys! This guy thinks he gets to just be born lucky. Ride thinks he gets to just be that. All right, Ride. All right, that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Monolith! 
Let's see how you guys handle the marker. Fuck you. That's an achievement for something. I don't know what I did. Who got that achievement for me? Was it the humans? Hang on, guys. That's epic, and you guys know it. Hang on. I'm coming down there. Get excited. Get excited. Your god's coming. Yeah, which one of you got me that fun achievement? Guys? Was it you? All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh! <gasps> Get the fuck away from my friend. All right, man. You have a good one. What was your name again? It don't matter. No. No! Why do I explode? The people will never forget what happened this day. I'm gonna give the orcs a break here because they've been kind of getting stunlocked. I might clear out the uh, piranhas. I'm gonna clean up the uh, piranha situation outside of your side of the map because you guys haven't been able to move off the island this whole time. I'll even do you one more because I think you guys are kind of having a weird time with it. There you go. There you guys go. Now you guys can bridge over to the other side. No problem. Look at them. They're already running for it. Okay, maybe slow it down a little bit, asshole. Okay, maybe slow it down a little bit. Let's slow them. All right, maybe slow it down a little bit there. These dwarves have gotten a little cracked. I don't... <gasps> the Kingdom of Rue just completely took over half of Great Ice Bee's kingdom. All that's left is Pikadu with the hope of Ulafina. Well, Pikadu, here's the thing. As God, I'm willing to give you guys a little bit of help. I've just received my greatest of blessings. Right on, Pikachu! Right, did you just go inside that fight? Pikachu, fight though! If you don't win this fight, it's over! They're sending their greatest army right to your doorstep. They come. I'm gonna speed up time. Oh, hang on, they got taken over. Well, Pikachu, hang on, guys. Guys, cancel that. While Pikachu was sleeping, uh, the Kingdom of Rue just came in through the, uh, land bridge and took him over. Fucking asshole, Pikachu, piece of shit. Actually wasted my time. Is this him? Is that Pikachu? Fucking Pikachu, go to hell. The Age of Hope. Honestly, Age of Hope kind of a- Wait a minute, when I check the age- the deaths were 666. Something's wrong about this Age of Hope. The only creature that seems even partially hopeful is Choco. Choco is here! Choco is here! Oh, they're beating the shit out of Choco, actually. They're actually kicking his fucking ass. You think I'm just gonna let them kill Choco like that? Yeah, right. Oh! <gasps> You're not supposed to be like that! No! I need to be so clear that when that happened to Chaco, I was not happy. And now the people know and the Age of Hope is over and the Age of Dark has begun. Okay, I'm getting kind of pissed because I just got back and it sounds like the elves are really happy. And it, I don't know if they didn't get the memo that it's the Age of Dark. Why are they still cheering? What do you have to be thankful for? I, as God, take away one of their eyes. One for each laugh they've made upon me in this age of darkness and mourning for Chaco. I shall now rain down a rain that takes but one of their eyes. A curse upon them. They're gonna be even more diplomatic, but they can't see. Somebody changed him forever? What do you mean they're... No! You're gonna tell me all of them get a plus 69 health boost forever? I summon a dragon upon their people. I've had enough of them smiling. Gonna fucking laugh at me. Gonna make it, gonna make me look like a fool. I summoned Perpkin the dragon. Kill them, my son! Arise, Perpkin! The destroyer! Burn their forests, take their land! When Perpkin dies, the Age of Darkness will end because the elves will finally have been put in their place for really not doing anything wrong. 
that caused the it was actually the dwarves that did the age of darkness wait a minute ah the elves had it coming this is it folks perkins gonna go down and with it the next age will arrive adara the dragon slayer <laughs> These elves just sound like babies. <laughs> what if I just let them cook for a while? Chat, what if we zoom out and we let this place cook at five times speed and we just kind of like let them all figure out what's going on with their lives for them. five years. Five years of godless country and we'll see how they do with it. Year 70, it's time. You guys know what that means. It's the age of the moon. I'm going to get everyone's attention by doing a global earthquake just to kind of make everyone know that I'm back. Stop misbehaving. So I'll do one right there. Let's get a couple earthquakes in. Maybe one right here. Oh, fucking Jesus. Okay, well, these are the kinds of things. If we hit everyone with an earthquake, no one will feel left out. Okay. And then for good measure, I'm going to summon a swarm of uh, tornadoes all the way around the entire map. And whoever lives, lives. The orcs will know to, oh, mother of God. Well, it's the age of, hang on, guys. Guys, there's actually a typo. It's not the age of uh, the moon. It's actually the age of chaos. We uh, we got the, um, we got it wrong. It was the age of chaos. Sorry, everyone. I know some of you got your hopes up. It's actually the age of chaos. Literally raining blood. No, it isn't. But it is now going to be raining uh, ash. Chaos. Everyone get excited. Holy heck, these people will finally fear me. Dude, I couldn't even observe these guys if I wanted to. They have ash fever. Everyone on this side of the map is about to turn into ash. It's going to dissipate by the time it gets there, chat. Don't worry. Wipe the slate clean. The survivors that do live are going to be really good at this. Look, they just have to fuck and make creatures that aren't you know, dealing with the ash plague. That's the thing. Total deaths. Yeah, we're th look, it got a little too chaotic. We're thinning out the herd. I mean, I mangled the elves. Like the elves used to be a faction. Now they're, now they got the black lung. They have, uh, they got the tuberculosis. They're not really gonna be making it another moment. <laughs> okay, guys, once this uh, clears out, we're gonna make it the age of uh, happiness, okay? Do you know how hard it is to be God? Hard, okay? Anyways, it's the age of wonders. At last, the people of this world are free. Like land for like ore. So I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna put a <laughs> Walmart parking lot land. Some gold in there. We're gonna make this place a. If, if someone gets this place, uh, they're gonna think it's really good for them, but this is actually a trick. If anyone tries to settle here, I instantly nuke them. Matter of fact, I wouldn't live here in a million years because unfortunately this place is infested. Uh, it's infested by crabs. Dare ye come to the crab lands for the treasures within? Dare ye? The realm of the bad, evil crabs. Oh, they're killing each other. Oh, no, my... Oh. I'm just gonna summon a demon tower or two in this area. If people want to come here, they're gonna have to fight off the demons. There. If people want to make their way to the place I put all of the ore, well... Are they destroying my ore? They're destroying it. We're gonna just call rain check on the center of the map. Ain't no way. This dude's got the legendary stick. There still lives three people in the fallen kingdom of Rue. What if I let them cook? I build like a mountain ring around this place and I let them cook for a while and try to catch back up. I'm making a circle. When they're done cooking, I'll let them out. I've given them everything they need to thrive. If they can't do it, they're fucking dead. We're gonna give them a chance to grow. This wizard will defend these children long enough for them to rise. Right? There's still two. I really hope they're the right... I hope they got the right stuff to make, like, sequels. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
Hopefully, they'll figure that out in a couple hundred years. We'll worry about it later. Let's see if they let's see if they're able to pull that off. Favorite them. He is one of the warriors of holy We have four now. They're multiplying. Wow, who's living here? The elves have decided to move on to the shithole biome. That sounds like them. I mean, this is the last of the elves. It looks like they were wiped out by the orcs. Is this the king? Eo this is a nine-year-old unsupervised on the beaches of Candyland while dwarves just chop down all the trees nearby. I don't really have time to worry about them. How is Holy Rue is being decimated again? Why, dude? From what? That's it. If you don't have what it takes, then fine. With this, I call upon a new age of darkness. Had enough of it. Fucking assholes. Damn. What a mess this has become. The, uh, the orcs are pouring into the candy land. If only Chalk was here to see this, he would have known what to say, what to do to stop this war. He would have known what to say to stop this horrible war, but he's dead now, killed by the dwarves. And now the orcs will pour across this land, killing them all. Man, the dwarves are fucked. This army is gigantic. But they have roads. Yeah, but like, the orcs are just bullying them right now. Look at how many armies they have. Candyland has been taken over. A necromancer named Burpkin and his undead legion have gotten out from a mine in Tokad. Burpkin? And his undead fucking legion. Well, Burpkin, you chose the wrong town. Yorks are really pissing me off. I'm gonna summon the Cybercore. Ain't no way they kill the Cybercore that easily. Assholes destroying my cyber core. Thinking they're big shit because they can destroy one little cyber core. The dwarves are losing, dude. I was rooting for the dwarves. The dwarves did so well all game, dude. They're being wiped out. Good thing elves live on lava land. Yeah, that is a good thing. Thanks for reminding me. One of the natural phenomenons of lava land is, of course, lava clouds. Hey, elves, go fuck yourselves, all right? Get, get off a of lava land. I guess. What's wrong with you? Did you guys think that was too much? Oh, I dropped all my bowling balls! Now the people will know. The people? Wait, who? Ain't no way. Two left again. Dude, this is like some beautiful shit. The lone single survivor king is frozen in a block of ice, turns out. That's not ideal for them. And the, oh wait, no, the queen just died. Oops. Just you, huh? Well, don't, hey man, if it makes you feel better, uh, I'm gonna give you my blessing. And I'm gonna give you divine light. Yeah, 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 because we're friends. Because we're friends. You can trust me. Forget regret, abandon remorse, only balance. All right. The elves are gone. Who the fuck? What did I say about settling in the middle of this fucking area? You gotta be kidding me. All right, so I hope y'all understand why you shouldn't settle in the middle of the map anymore. What's your weapon? Holy shit, this dude is... Oka is cracked. Chad, I think I know how we settle this. All or nothing cage match between the two kings. Hell in a Cell cage match. Let's see who's got what it takes to be the best. Oh, oh. 
Well, it makes sense. The dude's in like full molten core set. He's like, he's he's been running the raid. He's been running the raid. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, I dropped my bowling balls. Huh? Fine. We'll let you live based off of a coin flip. Oh. And we're gonna wrap this up the only way we know how. By summoning a gray goo event directly in the center of the map and just seeing how it goes. Who the fuck is this psycho? Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh! Get out of there, Ply! Tell the others, tell the world, the ghoul! They don't know! Look behind you! Damn, guys, this is wild. And you know what? If any of them were looking from space. Absolutely terrifying. Most of these people are kind of bundling up by the, uh, the farms to pray, I think is what's happening, and I don't think they know that the Grey Goo doesn't have any, any real interest in that. It's mostly a panic out here. It's really a shame. Oh, they're starting to run. Oh, oh, they're starting to squeeze. Damn. They should have prayed harder. And with this, every trace of my world is gone. Reduced to goop. And it's just a damn shame too, you know, because if they had survived another 15 minutes, it would have been the age of hope. If they had just made it another 15 minutes, it would have been the age of hope. World population one. Who? Who is the winner of the battle royale? <gasps> Gorn Anal. That's a dwarven W, baby!